Good evening, good evening. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. And what an evening it's going to be tonight. Not. <laughs> ah, dear. Well, as you can see, we are 61% through the installation. And, um, well, it's, um, 
it's a bit bad really i started this as soon as i got in um which was around about um what, five o'clock and i'm still going at seven o'clock and i have a fast link so um i'm gonna play some music and we can have a little chin chan chin chan chit chat there we go um i will stream because i need to i need to do two more before sunday so i can get my affiliate status and yes i do have plenty of bottles of beer <laughs> and uh thank you first of all to uh, alaska 559 for the follow uh, greatly appreciated you are my 51st follower so um yesterday um Annalisa actually was the the person that um got me my, to my 50 so uh thanks very much for that and um yes <laughs> look i can even put my little gold thing on look there you go it says 50 one out of 50 now so that's cool so yes uh, Annalisa followed uh, so i can remove that goal now and um <laughs> so um yeah people if you want to come along and just have a little chin wag um come into the voice di chat discord hello seamus i saw you lurking <laughs> i checked to see he was uh in the chat welcome to the stream um as you can see we're um we're not quite finished with the download yet um so um yeah so we'll just hang out for a bit, I think, that is the plan. Uh, I'm going to have a few of these, so it could be quite interesting a bit later on. Uh, we will do the stream. Um, the planned route is um, from, um, where am I going to? Kathmandu to uh, Lukla. And I'm intending to use the um, Porta PC6. Uh, which is actually quite a good aeroplane because you've got a choice of two now you've got the mill biz version which i've got and of course in the game of the year update we also have um the microsoft asobo version so so you'll be waiting to be told us to go shopping with the wife so we won't be flying today yes i can understand that position <laughs> uh so yeah well i mean you know we're not going to be flying at all at this rate um you know but uh i'm gonna continue to stream and uh we're gonna just go with chinwe if you want to come and join me in voice uh go to my discord and uh join the waiting room i'll drag you in or you can have a, a, a voice chat if you prefer um you get so excited in grocery stores <laughs> Do you know, um, I actually quite like food shopping. The trouble is, I always end up spending more than than you know what we actually need, and um, you know, usually when that happens, it's say it's all right, love, but I'll pay for it this time because you know we have a little uh, rule in that in our house in that I pay for most things and um, the missus pays for the food bill, so. Um, when it's a big food bill, I tend to say, oh, I'll get it then. It all comes out of the same pot. We go in for one item, we come out with a cartful. Exactly. And it's usually stuff you don't need. You know. And never go shopping. Never go shopping uh, when you're hungry. Because you come out with an awful lot more stuff that you would never eat and it gets binned. Which is very wasteful and bad. So um, I've got some uh, music playing on e Epidemic, and uh, it's uh, I did a search on Chill. Uh, so we're in the Chill mode tonight. While we're sitting here, waiting for you know Microsoft to do its bit, basically. But um, I suppose I could go through a few of the things that I've got installed, and that will keep us keep us going. Um, 
So, um, I don't know about you guys. Uh, I don't know if I can do this. I, I might have to do a bit of um, jiggery pokery with. Um... Can I add in a. I don't want to add in a display capture. We'll do a window capture. Let's, let's bring up that. Oh, shoot. Let's do that. So, we're going to be a bit ad hoc. For a second, just why I do this with the uh, exploder. Hopefully, that might show something. Hmm. Maybe because I can't see it. Okay. That didn't work then. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, uh, there we go. So, um. I think we probably need to make that a bit bigger. Um, so this is it downloading. I don't know if you've ever sat and watched it because I'm sad like that and I'll sit and watch these things. Update done for me, content manager time. Oh, you're way ahead of me. I mean, you know, Google knows, but um, you know, I have a, a 600 meg download link and i'm getting seven point something megabits per second so it's definitely being um throttled at the microsoft end um, when i started this i was getting 120 megabits per second now i'm down at five so there's obviously a lot of people downloading at the moment google you do all your shopping online now do you know i uh, we did a couple during the um yeah, the lockdown but to be honest um i couldn't be faffed with it and i actually quite like the going out and looking at what's on the shelves and seeing new stuff so let me just put that oh i need to put that <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at one screen and trying to do things on the other there we go so i'm still in there so um yeah you see the it downloads stuff in parts i don't know if you've ever noticed this but you you see you've got uh, edp leipzig and you might see part one, part two, and then you see um, like an index file as well. And then you see it actually build the actual files um, using the graphics card to build them. <laughs> Strangely, um, if you actually ever look at your CPU. Um, CPU is, 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 you know, it's, it's a little bit loaded, um, but your graphics card is is highly utilized during a Microsoft update. Um, so it's obviously doing some graphical reassembly of stuff. Is there anything I can say? Um, so uh, Google says, sort of always seems much less in the USA. Yeah, so I agree, Google, I'm running simply make download just fine. Uh, Nothing wrong with that message. I think um, <laughs> you've got uh, one one gig only in the content manager. And my marketplace isn't there. Dang bot! Yes, <laughs> the bots are doing their job. I don't know what was a. Uh, I don't know. It actually said it's something sexual in your. In your message there, I have no idea what would be sexual in that. <laughs> yes, Streamlabs. Well, I am migrating to Stream Elements. Um, I'm actually both are running at the same time at the moment, but I have I haven't uh, transferred over the. Um, the things in OBS yet to uh, stream elements. So as soon as I've done that, then I'll drop Streamlabs. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with it? I have no idea. <laughs> that's all right, Alaska. Sometimes that's all right. So anyway, this is the this is the um, the the the, the thing in jig. Um, and what I always do when I do an update, by the way, is I rename my existing community folder to dot old. As soon as you start the update, a new one's created, which is empty, of course, and remains empty. And then I just delete that, rename this one back to community, and that's it. Update done. 
and um, you know I used to use the the add-in linkers and stuff like that but I just they they cause me more grief than than I wanted to cope with so that got binned <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, stream owners have great protection from naughty people with donations. If that bot keeps going, I'll really have some choice words to delete. <laughs> naughty. Anyway, we're keeping a good vibe up here with the music. Oh, hello. That's people in the background shouting. Don't they know I'm streaming? What's going on? Um, Right, so um, that's enough of looking at that one. Um, let's have a look at this one. Uh, Orbex. Oh, there we go. Boom. So if we can get that one up. Oh no, it always loads on the wrong side. Oh, that's interesting. Why has Orbex logged me out? Okay, okay, but anyway, it's logging in. Uh, let's see if I can get Orbex in there. Where is Orbex? Orbex, Orbex, Orbex. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, that's not there. Let's try again. There we go. Orbex Central. Ooh. We can sit and go through this and uh, can show you what things I think are worth looking at and which things aren't. Hello, Captain Bombasso. So, uh, as you can see, we're in the middle of um, a bit of a download. Um, so, if I just turn that off, you can see I'm at 64% uh, at the moment and um, I was hoping to be finished, ready in time for streaming, but yeah, hey ho, life's like that. It sucks sometimes, so you just live with it and do something else. Um, <laughs> you have to update, yes, well, I plan on it being a, a little while. Your sim update is causing this stream to stutter. Well, yeah, that's probably because of the heavy load it puts on your graphics card and trying to watch a video at the same time. Um, Oh, Captain Babasso, it's a big one. I'm surprised, Google, you didn't get splattered out with that one. Uh, some ICRG content species failing. Oh, that's not good. Same here, same here. Babasso, we are very good, thank you. Um, so, uh, there's a couple of things. We've got some chill music playing. Uh, we've got some decent English beer to be drunk. And uh, we have a whole bag of, uh, well, I have some, uh, sorry about the crackle on the mic there, but I have some cabbage dairy milk with crunchy bits inside. Uh, I have some rather nice toffees. <laughs> I don't have a sweet tooth, honest. And we have something called Fizzy Fish, which is my favourite thing. Uh, and that will keep us going, I think. Full of sugar. Um, skip them, go back to them, work for me. Okay, cool. Uh, the entire planet is downloading now. Oh, and we got a friend with us. Do you want to say hello, Max? He heard the rustling of the chocolate wrappers and things. Yeah, I'm just going to... Get my chair sorted. What's going on with the chair? Such an expensive chair and it squeaks like mad. Do you want to come up here? Do you come up here? Noodles. Up here. Come on. <laughs> he doesn't want to go. He's... He goes back behind the green screen. Uh, Behind the green screen, there's a bed because this is my stepson's bedroom, is my office and um, and stream room. But he's in the army, so he's hardly ever here. 
Oh, he's back. I thought I heard some noise. Come on. Oh, you're doing well now, Max. You're going to make an appearance. Look, there we go. Here's my dog. Say hello, Max. Say hello. He's not really interested. He's only interested in the food. That's the thing he's interested in. Anyway, you can go back to bed now. I'm going to put you down that side. You go that way. Ow. Oh, my lordy. <laughs> Give me a dog that doesn't molt. Catching up, I'm catching up. Squeaky, yes. Right time to be happy and go shopping. Catch you on the next one. Okay, Seamus, have a good one. See you next time. Ah, you're gonna make key lime pie this weekend. Not the green looking stuff. Oh, Bombasso. So, Bombasso, uh, remember on my Discord there is a Dougal's Puds channel. We need pictures of the key lime. Gotta keep it real. We want to see what we're missing out on. Uh, logs! Hello! Welcome to chat. Sorry, I'm just catching up after manhandling the dog. Um, <laughs> says Wolf. Uh, we're good, thanks. Hope you're well. As you can see, I'm, you know, in the middle of... A bit like the world on there, Oyster. Oh, we're at 65% and it's getting slower and slower. Oh, we've popped up to about 15 megabits per second now, having been at 100 and whatever it was earlier on. But uh, we're getting there, we're getting there. I was hoping to have it all done by now, but um, you know. Uh, hey, big puppy, yes. <laughs> he's, not, he's not a puppy, he's uh, five this year. So uh, middle-aged, I think. Um, logs. Are you doing in the update? Are you you're obviously doing the update as well? That's slow. Okay. Oh, eighteen percent. Yeah. It's going to be a while because not only you know there's there's a number of bits this update, isn't there? As like every update, you have got the the initial one that gets done when you start your Xbox app, which is the sort of main um, flight sim .exe if you like, and then. You get this bit, which is 33 gig, and then all the world updates need to be updated. And then, if you want Reno, you've got that to install as well if you want to buy and pay for Reno. So, um, Dougal McTavish, yours is almost done. What? What? You're going to be airborne before I am. Sorry, I'm just de-hairing myself from the dog. Um, Mombasa says, all dogs are still puppies in my book. I'm a softy for them. Well, yes, you know. Oh, Dougal. You're out in the sticks, man. How can you be, you know, ahead of me? I mean, did you start at like one minute past four or something? That was my downfall. I was um, I was picking up my wife from work, like I always do, and uh, not able to start. Oh, Alaska's done. He's launching with DX12 now. Jeepers. Let's see if you uh, notice any change in uh, FPS. Uh, Dougal stating that uh, DX12 causing issues for most. Which is surprising really because I bet most other, you know, flight simmers play other games that are DX12 compliant and use DX12. So that would imply that it's the coding of the DX12 
in Microsoft that's the issue, if they're having problems. I'm liking these tunes, by the way. I don't know if you can hear them. I hope you can hear them. Let me just do a quick... A quick check. I check on my phone. Um, so I log into my phone. Which is very sad, but... Uh, do I want to go my channel? Yeah, should do. And... If I can hear the music on my phone, then that's good. Perfect. Okie dokie. Five by five music. Okay, cool. Thank you. And um, so I was actually talking about uh, Orbex. Uh, what were we? So this is um, the Orbex. Um, what do they call it? They call it the Orbex Central. That's the one. And um, nice thing about the Orbex Central is you can actually have files installed into wherever it is. Uh, I forget where the libraries are. So yeah, so you can have. Um, uh, so my main library is on my F drive, which is actually a, a regular hard disk. Um, but I, I tend to um, I tend to put um, some things in the F drive, and the others I put into the regular Microsoft folder. So it will go into um, the regular community folder. But uh, that's just my preference. So these are the products. I've got more than that. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, of course. <laughs> ah, dear, dear. So you can see these are the things that I'm actually in my Microsoft folder and the other things that have got the empty dots are obviously in my community folder. Um, so I have them, but um, they're not listing as being installed because uh, they're not currently in my community folder so I've got the enhanced AI vessels uh, I've got the Sydney cityscape uh, I've got landmarks editions for Adelaide Brisbane Chicago Dubai London London city pack I don't actually use uh, Paris city pack Seattle and Washington I have Bella Cuda airport which is a lovely little airport and uh, Kelowna international a lot of English airport, so Bristol, Liverpool, Strom, London, Leeds, Stapleford, Wickham, London, Oxford, Elstree. Then we've got uh, NO, which is a Nottingham airport. That's in Norway. Uh, Gothenburg, ESGG, Landvetter, uh, Catalina, Cavex, and uh, KITW, so Tacoma Narrows, Florence Airport, uh, Innsbruck. Aircraft, the Optica, the Jabiru, the Tudor T1 and the Supermarine Spitfire Mark 1 and then other stuff, the Sky Park and um, I love the Sky Park. Um, if it's, uh, you know, you're thinking, oh, where should I go today? Um, <laughs> so you have shares in Orbex, yes. <laughs> I wish I could. I want my... Yeah, if they're a public company, I don't know if they are a public company, maybe they are. Might even get some shares in them. Um, Himalaya and Central Asia Mesh I bought um, last night. And uh, that's one of the reasons we're doing the route today. Uh, the Brisbane River Run with the, um, uh, the racing um, pillars and stuff like that, that was found fun. We might return there in the very near future and have another go. Uh, France VFR, uh, this um, here, if I just uh, adjust my screen a bit. The only thing I don't like about, once you've bought the products, you can't see anything about the product. <laughs> it's like, oh, we've, we've, you've spent your money now, that's it. Dum. Um, Actually, even on the store, I wonder if you can see France VFR here, if you do uh, VFR. I think it's on. 
yeah it just takes you to your and if you open the user guide uh no there's no user guide <laughs> so it's like uh, uh, uh. so the only place you can find out information there is on their website um what else do i have here uh my products uh Iceland mesh uh the alaska mesh which is interesting because we haven't flown around alaska lately um new zealand mesh we were there not so long ago uh new york city times uh sightseeing vessels core which allows all the extra boats and stuff the sofly weather preset pro the wpp preset which is great and then i've got the vessels for the um Anguilla, St. Martin and St. Bart's, Channel Islands, uh, Global Shipping and UK Southeast. So yes, yeah, so I don't want to, I don't want to sit there and plot up how much that was, but um, it, it wasn't a small amount of cash, I guess, usually. So uh, where are we? 67. Hmm. Oh, so Alaska says to itself, is stuttery and a piece of bread. Um, back to DX11 for you. You've got a decent graphics card as well, and you got a 20, a 3080. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I'd be, I'm very surprised at that. Do you have, um, what's your settings set to? Is it all ultra or are you uh, down from ultra? Pitta, yeah, pitta bread. We all know what pitta bread is. <laughs> Try going down to, um, um, Start high and then change the things that you like to be at ultra. So like clouds or water, buildings, maybe trees. Um, but everything else, you don't really notice much difference. Um, do you, have you got your um, the level of detail to 400? Because you could probably drop that down a bit as well. I actually don't think I'm running at 400. I think I dropped it down to like 350 or something like that. Oh, you're only at 200. Okay. Cool. Got back down to seven megabits per second. This is um, a tad slower than I expected. Are you going to stream tonight, Alaska? That's so annoying, isn't it, when you have to reset all your user settings? Okay. Might catch you later. <laughs> I might still be here. So, Rabasso, are you are you still in the office, or you're you you must be uh, still in the office, I guess. It's quite funky. This. Tunage. I feel like I'm finding a book and reading a book. <laughs> In fact, what I might do is let's uh, let's have a look at um, let's see what's going on. In the world of MS add-ons.
so I might as well share that while I'm doing that. Um, let's do that one and change that to... Twitch, no, I don't want that one for Twitch. I don't want that one. Not that one. There we go. So let's have a look. Um, let's see what's featured at the moment. F-22 Raptor. Bush Pilot Missions plugin. Weather Force. I've got that. Weather Force. Do you think I can get it to work well? Mm, maybe. The B-25 Mitchell Bomber. Oh, I've had a look at this. It's not very good implementation in my view. It sounds like a Cessna. Uh, flight past recorder utility. Hmm. Sci-fi ships and emergency training application. Disneyland Paris, Melbourne City. Oh, Melbourne, that could be good. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Oh, okay. Oh. Doesn't look that great, does it? when you dig into the detail. That's the trouble with some of these freeware things is they don't, they sound better than what they really are. Hello, two cats. So, you have all the Reno planes just to find out if they are only reskins. Oh, I missed your first message. You can do it 100%. That's the trouble. I'll take my eye off the chat. I need to put it down here so I can actually see it. Let's get rid of that for now. Um, Reno well pack bought and, and butt kicker to break in so could you. Uh, I can make housemates coffee mug vibrate on the floor below me. <laughs> That's funny. So I have all the Reno, oh, I read that one already. I uh, hope to be back soon, gonna work on this and get ready for class. Okay, see you later. I uh, hope it goes well. Uh, two cats, um, are you um, downloaded with the update? Is your uh, internet behaving? I mean, mine, oh look, we actually peaked at 20 then. There's a lot of throttling going on and it's not on my end. So, ah, well, you're de definitely going to, oh, if you don't get CTTs, uh, oh dear. Well, you're definitely going to be up and running before I am. I mean, I started my download at five o'clock and it's now 20 to eight. And, you know, I have a, a super fast connection. Um, 
but it's being throttled at Microsoft End is the only thing I can think of. Hey, the true fist rake. Yes, I know, I know. This is just 33 and 0.4 gig, and then you've got probably another 45 gig for the world updates. Welcome to my stream. Yay! It's going to be an exciting one tonight. Looking at an installation manager. <laughs> but, um, hey. Full Reno pack is another 9 gig, is it? Okay. What's the price on it? And can someone explain to me how it all works? How how do you um Okay, 60 for everything. Is that 60 euros? So about 50 pounds, I would imagine. So how does it how does it work then? How how do you how do you have a race? Is it just Oh, forty nine ninety nine. Why didn't they just say fifty quid? Because forty nine ninety nine sounds cheaper, I guess. Um, I, I I don't understand the concept of how. Yeah, or whether you can't you obviously can't race. <laughs> You'll be doing it on stream, okay? Well, we plan to do Kathmandu to Lukla. Which isn't actually a very long route. So I might do Reno after. It depends on how smoothly the update goes. Okay, well, maybe I'll. Uh... There's a way I can host streams, isn't there? I don't think I can host yours though. Do I need to meet an affiliate to host other people? Oh dear. That's not great, is it? Guaranteed it's going to be an add in that's causing that. So we've just got some chill music on, we've got some beers. We have some sweetage going on uh, and, and that's all we need really and obviously good conversation in chat. So there's nothing more than a bit of chocolate and beer really. And I know my stepdaughter's been here because she, she chunks up all the little bits of chocolate from a single bar into little pieces. Should turn down the sensitivity on my mic so you don't hear me crumping, chomping. So, Maso, you got a job when you get home. You do realise that, don't you? Why won't Twitch let me turn you down from 1080p? Because I'm fab and only can be seen in 1080p. I don't know. No idea. Well, it appears to be speeding up a little bit. So, um,. How many people we got in chat at the moment? Let's go and see uh, Twitch. Um, how many are? Uh, how many users we got? Oh, we got quite a few. So if you're in chat and you're, you know, you're liking what you see, <laughs> which is not much at the minute, 
you know, hit the follow button and you'll get notified when we go flying. And um, we tend to have quite a lot of good fun. And actually, one of the things I was going to ask chat, um, <laughs> I'm using up all your bandwidth. <laughs> well, um, what can I say? I don't know. There is an option, is there? Settings? Quality? Oh yeah, look, it says it's auto and the only choice you get is 1080p. That's like, that's interesting, isn't it? Okay. Can you just not stop the, um, the video and keep the chat going in a separate window? I have no idea why that is the case. Um, Two cats, do you know why that would be the case that people can't drop me from 1080p down to something lower? No. I I'm not very, um, you know. I haven't got a creative setup here for uh, for streaming. Um, you know, it's a bit odd. You have the same problem. What with people watching your streams or dropping down my stream down from ten eighty. dropping down yeah this is a bit weird isn't it hmm I guess so but I can't see anywhere see anything you can do in Twitch to do that. It's a bit odd. I think maybe a setting at your end as in my end. Well it probably is. Maybe it's an OBS setting that's fixing the I didn't have this problem in YouTube and I, you know, that just seems a bit weird. A bit weird, we're at 74% now. And look at the rate, it's gone up. Magic. In actual fact, my receive on my Ethernet card is now up to the hundreds, so that should start going up quite a lot now. it drop all the way back down to like five megabits per second. Oh. It's already dropping down 35, 36. So question for chat. For those people who are listening. Um, I'm thinking uh, what people prefer when we do our little flights. Do you prefer doing island hopping? Albeit we've probably done a lot of the good ones already. Um, or do you prefer the, the valley flying? and the mountains or 
cities. Hey Viper, how you doing? As you can see, we're not quite in a position to do a stream. We're flying yet. So we're just chewing the fat, I think the American expression is. And we've got some chill music on. I've got some beers on the go. And a, a few confectionery items while we wait. But it is speeding up, which is a blessing. You got the mandatory out there downloading, now you're getting what's in the content manager. You're a little bit ahead of us. Yes, my, mine went through a period where it went down to really slow megabits per second for some bizarre reason. It's now sort of coming back up, so. Yep, you like mountains, rivers and valleys, says Dougal. Uh, island hopping is a uh, okay, but often has loads of open water. And that is very true. That's a bit, you know, that's the downside of doing the island hopping. Although the Bora Bora trip was actually quite cool. If you've got islands that are reasonably close together. Um, and they were fantastic islands. We're going to have to go back there at some point in the future. Quite stunning, that's its scenery. I want to go back to Cape Verde. That was good too. I like that. And those islands are reasonably close together. We could do um, islands around Scotland as well. Uh, we haven't been to Hawaii, done those yet, but they're a bit more spread out, I think. Um, the Maldives would be good, but they're quite spread out as well. It'd be quite cool to go and land at the beach that I was sunbathing on. And as, as a, there's actually one island there that's in a heart shape, which is quite cool. Obviously not natural. We could probably do the Canary Islands as well. That'd be quite interesting. Interesting at the moment. Is that anybody know whether that volcano is still spewing out? Let's have a quick look. Uh, no. YouTube. So, um, I just had a quick look on um, So these are the live images uh, from the volcano uh, Supposedly it had a, another eruption uh, today. 
can see it with this camera view flowing down. It's fantastic. Well, not fantastic, but you know. It's the same. Uh, they have about three or four live cameras. Oh, better not show views. I mean, that looks um, pretty awesome there. It's just amazing. I mean, you can't really see it flowing. Um, but um, I mean, it's been, it's been going for a number of days now. Uh, there you go. Started on September the 19th. I think I have had um, 2,000 properties. Um, Oh, there we go. 2,623 properties destroyed. Uh, and this is actually the um, meters cubed of lava that's come out. Uh, SO... Was that SO2? SO2? 24,000 tons per day. Uh, sulfur dioxide going into the atmosphere. Unbelievable, really. Anyway, so we could do the Canary Islands. <laughs> we won't see a volcano in the sim, but well, you'll see the volcano. You won't see the, the lava coming out. Looks like your friends in Vancouver are having a real tough time right now. Massive flooding, wow. Hammy's cousin has to evac from La Palma. Yeah, I mean, what do you do? I mean, yeah, I, the, the nice thing is, in a way, if it's nice, is that lava tends to flow very slowly. It's like, a, I mean, very slow, I mean, it, it's, it's slower than water, put it that way. Um, but it just destroys everything in its path. So any buildings there, they just get engulfed. So. Oh, look, 58 megabits per second. 85%. Ooh, it's getting exciting. It's only been an hour. 59 minutes. Okay, thanks two cats. Uh, enjoy your stream. Um, I might join you later on if um, if I have problems with mine. So hopefully you get through your crash to desktops and you can actually stream something. Um, Captain Professor heading home, be back in half. Okay, we'll see you then. Safe trip back. Did you see that? Oh, is the F-18 livery packs? So it's really interesting, isn't it? That, um, you know, Microsoft have to go and get licenses to use certain airlines liveries 
but then you've got all these livery makers that just go and live you know go and produce them and and, and uh, upload them for free and they don't even think twice about contacting the uh, the airline to say can i use your livery So there's obviously some legal requirement behind all of that. Well, this is coming down much faster now, so hopefully it won't be too long. Oh, a bit funky. Oh, don't say that. At this rate, I'm going to be forced to get out my guitar and tune it up for something to do. Don't get me to play it because I'm not very good. And I can't do my keyboard because I've got the software installed since I installed Windows 11. Hello, Max. You come back again. What are you doing? Do you want to go out? I think the dog wants to go out. Hold on a second. I'll just turn my camera off. I have a be right back screen. Let's see if that works. Oh, look, there we go. <laughs> was horrible because you got two lots of music fans. <laughs> that was uh... I do apologize for that people watching you probably got <laughs> yes won't do that one again in oh 91 percent we're getting there we're getting there I had to let the dog out he wanted to go out. It's a bit warm in this room today. Don't know why. Actually, we're not uh, 25 degrees in my room. That's, that's pretty warm. So. We're getting there. We're getting there. How slow is that Reno download, download Dougal? Speed, but horrendously slow. 
you can imagine that everybody and his dog is going to be doing the Reno racing. You can just tell. This is more like the speed we're used to seeing. I bet. I don't, I just don't know how they're going to do races. That, that's the thing I don't, I just don't quite understand how they're going to, how they do it. Unless they have like a continuous <laughs> 42 minutes remaining, lols. <laughs> Unless they have continue continuous like a uh, 10 minute races, and if you want to join, you have to, you know, you get a countdown to pass the start, and you'll be then part of that race, and then you do your X number of laps. And then that race is then done, and then there's a gap while everybody can then take off and something like that. I don't know, maybe. So I don't know about you guys, but when I do an update, I do all the updates, then do. Uh, Well, I, I, or normally I do a shutdown and reboot, but I'm obviously not going to do that while I'm streaming. But um, um, I'll restart the sim without my community folder and just make sure it all starts up. And if it all starts up and I can select an airplane and go flying without anything in my community folder, then I'll shut down, add in my community folder, and then start it up again to see how how it goes from there. That's generally how I uh, tend to do it. Oh, tantalizing really close now. So big files that take the long time. So in actual fact, what I'm going to do is in my community folder of old, I have the modern UI as part of it, which gives you a slightly different startup UI than the default. So I'm going to take that out. you from there I'll put you in 
there. You just got a cup of tea delivered off your mum. That's very nice of your mum. Could you deliver me one here? Actually, I might get a, I might get a cup of tea delivered. Nice hot Earl Grey. I don't think my wife is listening. She doesn't know how to do Twitch. YouTube is okay. Twitch. But actually, that that last was it. Last stream. That wasn't last stream because that was this week. The one before. Um, she did bring up a nice old grey tea without any prompting. It was quite nice. <coughs> tea as well. Well, I'm a coffee man, really. I, I don't really... So... Here's the, here's the thing about tea. The only time I have a cup of English tea with milk is when I have fish and chips. All the other times it's Earl Grey or green tea or green tea with jasmine. And you have no milk with those. Uh, so that's only, the only teas really I drink. And then most of the time it's coffee. You got some news, dudes. What's your nudes? Nudes? News? The <laughs> tea is a must with egg and bacon. What's your news? Logs? Not, not what is your nudes? <laughs> he's beyond, he's 100%. That's what it is, isn't it? He's, he's, he's gone past that 100%. Oh, look at that. News. I've just hit 100%. Must be downloading the last file. Getting exciting. Content manager to go. Oh, you got a new car. Oh, now you're talking. So the next question is, what is the new car? Look at that! Things are happening! So logs, you gonna spill the beans? What's the new car? Helicopter just looks weird, doesn't it? It's a great idea. I can't imagine how on earth they would get licensed to fly those around cities and stuff like that. Certainly, London is um, is very challenging for helicopter pilots alone, and you have to get special clearances to fly over London in a helicopter. So most of them have to skirt around it. 
Oh, you got an A250 AMG. Nice. So my wife has a an A180D, not AMG, but it is a CDI. So it actually, has a quite a smart interior, but it's um, a 63 plate, so it's not it's not that new. But it's nice. But what I want, so my next car will be at some point in the future an E 63 coupe and that won't be a new car that will be you know a few years old and hopefully I'll get it before they actually ban having petrol cars because it just won't be the same. Right, okay, so we are here now. Read and read support and release notice. Do I really need to do that? No. I need to go to the content manager though. Around down here. Oh. World update, update available, update available, update available. There's nine updates. What else is there? Is it all world updates? Next Cityscape, Garmin XI, no we don't want that. That causes me issues, that NXI. Um, oh, so, um, okay. So let's select all. And then we unselect the one I don't want. Oh, no, that's alright. That's right, that's right I'll do. Uh, download 4.3 gig. Marvellous. <laughs> you bad man, that's a bank job car. Oh, the E63 is, you know, we had, um, so when we put ours in for a service at the Mercedes garage, which I don't do all the time, I just do it, you know, every other year or every few years, I'll put it into Mercedes just so they can get it once over and do a proper check on it, as opposed to my local garage, which does a service and it's cheaper. Um, but they, they, uh, I asked for a courtesy car because we only have one car in our family, and. Um, they gave me uh, uh, an E220 diesel coupe uh, AMG line and um, in white and it was lovely, lovely and um, I've probably got some pictures on my phone somewhere of that and it just looked lovely. And uh, so I'm very interested into into that shape of car at the minute. I wonder if I can put that on my. Um... That's quite a while ago then. So if I select that, no, I don't want to select it. Select it. Share. Okay. Let's 
See if I can. Uh... You went out in my niece's boyfriend's car last week. Absolutely cost that at the performance as I drive a BMW E46 for the daily minis. Cool. All right, I've, I've just uploaded the pictures of the car I had as a. Um... He was he's back in again. Okay, dog's back. Um, shit. Music's very funky tonight. Extract all to there. It's a very convoluted route I'm doing, but hey, you'll understand why. Um, open with photos. There we go. And let's see if we can change that to photos. And uh, it's not showing it. Okay, that's fine. Yes, um, my neighbour's got an old um, an old uh, E63 and I get depressed every time I hear it start up in the morning because it runs really um, rough when it's really cold until you know the, the chokes go off and stuff like that. Let me just see if I can open it with something. It's trying to get OBS to actually uh, recognise the uh, the window I've just opened. It wasn't playing ball. There we go. So there we go. That's the um, that's the car. It looks very sweet, doesn't it? And the other view of it is that way around. I probably might be able to go between the two. There you go. That's the back. So it's E220D, it was the AMG line. Nice privacy windows here. Uh, the dashboard, fantastic. It's probably similar to your A class now, I think. But it was basically one huge long LCD screen, and you can basically decide what you want to put up on it. <laughs> um, and, th and this was fast enough. I mean, if I can't find a, an E63 that's um, yeah, reasonably priced, then yeah, I'm quite happy to take a, an E300 or an E220D. It, was, it had plenty of uh, plenty of go. Uh, but I wish I'd have taken a picture of the inside because it was just fantastic inside. So it's a 21 plate, so this year's model. It was nice. But the yes, the sounds of that engine, unbelievable. Okay, we have a bit of stalling going on here. There we go.
So always check my task manager. When in doubt, show the task manager. the GPU is doing. Unreal. Well, this is exciting, so <laughs> we're now at 1 hour 25. I can't afford the full fat edition. I just needed that dash in my life. Yeah, I know what you mean. You're 20 minutes left on the download, 80%. It's downloading here at this point. This is when you get concerned. You see no download activity. You see the GPU goes down, but you see a CPU at 100%. You feel like it's coming in quite quick. decided over the last few days that um, there might be a house purchase next year <laughs> we currently rent this one and they've got some new builds going up down the road not that we're really interested in a new build it's just that for the price that they're offering it for it will be foolish to not go and have a look. So we're going to have a look on Friday. And if that's the case, I think they are looking to finish in April, May time next year. So that'd be quite cool. Getting back onto the ladder, as they say. What's the old CPU doing? Where's it gone? So not as exciting as my usual. My dude, <laughs> your dude, my audio is breaking up a little bit. If it's breaking up, it's because of... Uh, well, actually, it's streaming all right. I mean, it's streaming at... 6k per second so and it's only occupying less than one percent cpu so i mean it could be when the cpu max is out 100 percent you might get a bit of a break up but it seems all good on this side let's have a look and see what twitch says it's saying excellent
so yes not the most exciting stream i know we'll try and make up for it um by the way there'll be a cheeky little stream on saturday and i'm going to try and time it to be uh just before uh the young Alison johnson Alison Johnson? So we can go and raid her stream after this. It won't be a very long one. I just need to stream to get to my seven in the month. As everything else is completed. So I might even you know, it might not be a true flying stream. It might be um, me showing you how to do uh, like an intro video, how I do my intro videos for um, uh, that I used to do for Sim Wings uh, and the programs and stuff that I used to, to do it and put them together. So I might sort of do that. I'm thinking about it. I don't know. Would you be interested in that sort of thing? It all starts with the music, I'll let you know that. So I have to find a bit of music that actually visualises what I want to see in the stream. And then it's easy from there. So we can, uh, we can go through. You need a flight yoke in your life. Well, I wouldn't know what I'd do without my honeycombs, put it that way. I'm lucky I was uh, able to afford to, to get a honeycomb, but uh, I wouldn't look back. I actually started off with the Thrustmaster T16000M uh, flight stick. It's still here, it's, it's set to the left. And I use that for obviously, you know, the right sort of aeroplane because you can't fly a jet with a yoke, it doesn't make sense to. Um, and that did me many, many years. The only thing that's wrong with it at the moment is that the um, the the twist for the rudder has become really sensitive, and it it actually has it sends signals when it's not actually doing anything. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not taken by that yoke at all, to be honest. That's the Boeing one, yeah? It looks nice. But it just... I don't know. It's not as finished as the honeycombs. I don't think. I mean, there's things I don't like about the, the honeycomb. But, you know... I do love it. Kingsman. Good evening from Liverpool. How are you doing? Have you managed to download the update like we're all doing at the moment? So far, the only people I see recommending it are those who got it free from TM. What a surprise, because they're not going to say anything bad about it, are they? Because they won't get anything more free. But people should give their honest opinion in my in my case, in my view. You know, if you think about it, it's 250 for the Oak, 250 is for the. Um, so the Alpha and the Bravo is you know, it's 500 pounds worth of, of, of good money. Um, I, I, I wouldn't live without them now. Uh, you just need a lot of desk space. Um, yeah, we're all, all waiting for downloads to finish. Otherwise, I would have started um, an hour and a half ago. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Whose idea was it to stream on Thursdays, eh? Yeah. 
So for all those who are listening, is there a download on Flight Sim? <laughs> Where have you been, Kinsman? Have you not heard? Game of the year and all that. You'll be stuck downloading 34 gigs. And that's just for the main download. And then you've got all your world updates. Captain Babasso, Captain Rico just got his honeycomb set a few days back. He's in love, literally. That's what he said. Nice. I, I, I tell you, you know, if this ever broke for ever, actually, I do have an issue with it. The buttons on the yoke, very intermittent lately. Don't know why. I think it's, and I've been reading up, the little Ethernet cable between the yoke and the main unit. And some people say it's not a great Ethernet cable. And I've been replacing it with a regular bit of a you know, short Ethernet because it, as you turn the yoke, it, it puts strain on the um, connection into the two units and sometimes find that you lose all the button functionality. You reseat it and it all works again. Yeah, I, mean, I, th I think mine's probably gone getting beyond that now. For some reason, it's, it works sometimes and it doesn't. And I'm thinking I'll just change it. I'll go and get a short Ethernet cable. Oh, actually, I might, I might do it while I'm sitting here. I'll go onto Amazon and do that. <laughs> well, actually, I'm, no, I'm going to check, check in my loft because I, I actually got a whole load of short cables for work. And... Uh, some happened to um i bought them um uh, some went to work some actually stayed in my loft oh look 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 we're downloading the last world update oh it's getting exciting oh so you actually replaced the ethernet cable as well okay It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a straight Ethernet cable, isn't it? Just a regular Ethernet cable you plug into your switch and connect to your PC, yeah? <laughs> you have a 50 meter Cat 5 cable. <laughs> what, to go six inches? There's a big coil on the floor. <laughs> hmm. You don't have the honeycomb, do you, Dougal? You have the... Um... What is it? It's the, uh, the Hotess. Why do you have 50 meters of Cat5 cable? It's probably the, you know, the question that should be asked. Oh, you have the honeycomb yoke. So literally, do you have the, your 50 meter cable plugged in <laughs> between your yoke and the main? You got 50 meters of cable then. Oh, yeah, the roll given to you. Okay. <laughs> Germany point of interest. this one so the good news for people in chat who are listening and didn't catch it at the beginning um 
So I, I managed to achieve luck. If I turn it on, I turn it on, look. There we go. Look at Fifty-one follows on Twitch. Yo! Logs, dudes, we're going to do some chilling. I will catch up with you soon, guys. Thanks for joining the chat. Good to see you here again and uh, enjoy flying at Reno. <laughs> Might see you there. Um, oh, look at that. Dougal Watanovich, all updates done and Reno installed. There are many downloads. Yes. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna need some food soon. What have I got going here? I think I have a toppy. It's the last one of the content manager. The next thing will be the Reno. You're running off the gaming laptop. Do you find your gaming laptop gets really hot? So sometimes run hot, good fan on it though, yeah. HP Pavilion. Graphics cards inside. I can't read that. I've got the mm. Back in a moment. Are you going to stick the laptop then, or are you going to go to down the mad PC route? This is um this is uh, my, my um PC. Look, I have commands now. Hey! So the CPU really doesn't you know when I'm running in in, in um Microsoft Flight Sim the CPU really doesn't get trashed at all. Um what slows it down really is the the, the motherboard and the graphics card and I probably could get faster memory now as well the rest of it storage wise is is fine so you know if I was to do any sort of um, update you know I'm a few generations of uh, processor behind now. So the um, 
motherboard series now. I think they're on on the six six ninety or seven ninety series. I forget what they are now. But generally speaking, you end up doing the motherboard, the memory, and the CPU at the same time. <clears throat> um, everything else, uh, you probably need. To, mm, I might need to do the power supply, but I shouldn't. Depends on the graphics card. I think it's a 750 watt, which should be enough. Yeah. Well, I mean, same here. It's, it's, it's a case of just reading lots of forums and... Um, um, uh, Jay-Z Two Cents is quite good. Or Linus Tech Tips, they're quite good. Or Hardware Unbox, any one of those. They're very good at reviewing stuff and giving you indicators of what's hot and what's not and what to avoid basically so i um, got a bit dramatic this track there's a lot of points of interest in Germany aren't there blimey how big is this package Oh, and uh, Gamers, Gamers Nexus, I, I, I do really like, I mean, that guy's um, hugely smart and knows his stuff, but he does make you fall asleep a little bit. <laughs> yeah, if you just do it, it's like, oh, there we go. Avoid the 11900 if you can. Is that the new one or is it they're talking about the 12? Is it 12 series that's got the dual processor thingy in built inside? Is it a 12? Oh, limbs is get too hot. Okay. Yeah, it's a twelve hundred twelve nine hundred K. It's the latest one. It has a P and E cores on the Intel. I don't think there's any point in really going to that. Probably a 10 series is probably as good as. Your computer is going to be about. Your computer is going on about being updated to Windows 11. What would you do? Uh, what would I do? Um, well, I run Windows 11. Um, I'm a sucker for taking the newest and greatest things on the planet. Um, and, you know, I find it's, it's all right, you know? There's a few things that are a bit different about it. <laughs> Dougal says, I would not go to Windows 11 on that. <laughs> Maybe I'm not on the laptop, but I mean, on my, on my PC, it, it, I've not had any issues at all with Windows 11. And I did an upgrade, I didn't do a fresh install. So if you're gonna have issues, you probably have it on a upgrade rather than the fresh install. But, you know, each to their own. I mean, you can't say that one is, yeah, Windows 10 works fine. Windows 11 is, as far as I'm concerned, it's pretty stable. Really? I'm the only similar I know without issues on Windows 11. That's amazing. Oh, where's all that noise coming from? That's 
weird. I can hear some noise coming through. Don't know if you guys are getting that, apart from the music. Anyway, um, just need to go and use the restroom, so I'll be back very shortly. So I'll leave you uh, with me off cam, and uh, you can set and watch the install for the next few minutes. Back shortly. I'm back. Oh, hang on a minute. Look, things happened while I was gone. So we get rid of the task manager for now. There we go. We can go back here. And let's just check up here. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So we're going to go back. Restart. So I think the buzz is gone, whatever it was. Um So 
So it looks like it's taking a while to start it up as usual. It's a funny looking plane, the Porter, isn't it? This hugely long nose. They use the Porter a lot for um, skydivers and also as tugs for gliders. I've been pulled up into the air with a glider many times by a Porter. Well, did you know, Dougal, that jet engines have propellers inside? <laughs> ah, dear. Funny, funny, funny. Yes. They've just incorrectly classified. That's an easy fix. You could do that yourself, Dougal. That looks a bit rubbish having that text there because it's over here. It's like a really bad font. Okay, so next thing to do, I presume the Reno stuff is in the marketplace, is it not, Dougal? feel we're getting close and it's only nine o'clock oh. Yeah, I might, I might delay it and just get on with the flight, to be honest. <laughs> so uh, actually, I might, 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 might just do that, actually. So um, I can I can do that any time I like, really, um, later on. Ooh, nice. New planes. New planes. Um, so if I do a search for Porter, I should now have two. I said I don't have any of my scenery installed yet, so um, that's interesting. Well, I got I got none. Oh, where's that? Oh, I bet you got to install the new airplanes, haven't you?
Will they get installed free? Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quit the desktop and redo my community folder before it drives me mad. Because it would be pointless going to the Himalayas when I haven't actually... Um, so, community folder is empty. Uh, sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. Um, so, just deleting the existing one, renaming the one there. Turbo props, okay. I hope is that everybody's enjoying the music tonight. A little different for my streams, they tend to be more orchestral or guitar y in nature. You just started downloading Captain Bombesso, <laughs> okay. Uh. So what is it? Nine o'clock. And I started mine at four, uh, five o'clock this evening, so it's taking four hours. I'm really surprised that they haven't updated the copyright message that comes up next. Is it up next or has it already been and gone? And I missed it. Because it still says, there you go, copyright 2020. Now usually the copyright gets updated every year. So, be interesting if they ever do that. Don't tell me there's more. So it looks like the Xbox app didn't update like it said it did the update. Hmm. 
because the Microsoft Store is saying that the Microsoft Flight Simulator has an update. Hey ho! Okay, I, I can't share what I'm, I'm doing at the minute. It's just uh, doing some updates. So very strange, it was working. You're about to see it launch again. So it's showing you about uh, 39 to 43 megabits per second. That's about roughly what we were getting. I started off with a, in the hundreds, um, but it soon dropped down to that level and then went lower. I think that's why it took so long. But now it's saying it needed a, it needs an update. Let's try in safe mode and just see if it will let me finish downloading what it thinks it needs to download. Yeah, the thing is, my MS Store app tells me to go to the Xbox app. That's not good, is it?
Oh, don't you just love this, eh? I don't think I can actually turn on a display capture because I don't think it likes. Oh, there we go. I'll take it all back. Um, probably need to put it somewhere. Maybe there we go. Um, you can ignore all this stuff on my desktop. <laughs> um, where do you see your library? Is this it? See, there's no update required here. And if I go to the store. Says it was modified today, but there's no updates here. Now, it did work without stuff in my community folder, didn't it? So maybe it's worth doing that. So I'm going to do that. I will let this see if it starts. If it doesn't start, remove the community folder, restart it. If that doesn't start, <clears throat> I think we have bigger issues. At least the music's good. If if this doesn't work this time, if I can't get it, um, if I can't get it updated or even started, then I will 
called it a day on the stream. Spend the rest of the time trying to fix it. Most frustrating. I shouldn't have quit it when I quit. Do you remember I quit and it actually said the message that something hadn't, I should have stayed in it and actually tried to update what was there. Or is he? Is he streaming? his stream if I can't get it going. That's interesting that it started so there's obviously something in my community folder Iceland mesh. Obviously, uh, he's, he's now working, so that's good for him. I'm working, but only if I don't have anything in my community folder. But I actually knew, need to get into my content manager. So there's nothing in there that really needs to be um, updated. 
updated, so what is going on, they say. Okay, quick to stop. Let's go and have a look at the old community folder. See bridge needs to be installed again. <laughs> Fourteen percent. Yo, I've obviously got something in my community folder that it doesn't like. Uh, I don't know what it is. Um, actually, um, Copy that lot. Actually, I don't want to copy that lot. I want to delete that. I'm going to rename that. So I know it loads without everything in here. So let's look at meshes. Let's do a mesh. Not mesh. Mesh. So you reckon it was the Iceland mesh? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we'll do a cut of the Iceland mesh and we will put it in. real community folder in here I'll stop that search stop and should we give it another go what with just the Iceland mesh You have a bug where you can no longer move the world map. <laughs> That's so odd, isn't it? I I think I need to I need to break into my fizzy fish here. I need some fizz. Oh look, look who's come round the corner. You hear a packet of fizzy fish. And he's there. I, I don't know what their QA process is like, but boy, they really do need to do something about it. this bit now wasn't that Dougal uh, 
Okay, let's cut. Okay, so take all my misses out. Let's try that. You like in the jam? It's pretty cool, isn't it? At the end of the day, you know, at least the music's good. Huh. Hey there, rhyme moodles! You're just sitting there looking at me going, can I have the sweet please? No. Get back to your bed. Get back to your bed. I think it's going to fail again. So, what is it in here that it's not liking? Base in game. Let's take that out. It's great, isn't it? Troubleshooting online. overhaul out as well. I'm just going to reinstall the AFC bridge software I think. Secret. That's the honeycomb, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I don't think it's called honey. I don't think it's actually got the um, word honey in it. I think it's actually. I can't remember what it 
it's called um This is not. No. Well, it might be. Didn't Honeycomb have a new version of the software actually? Honeycomb. Just turn down our offer to get something from McDonald's. How good of me is that? Bessa says, I'm glad I still fly X-Plane. Dirty words indeed. No. I still have it on my system. Look, if I go to uh, this drive, look, see, X-Plane. And if I go to this one, there is Ortho, B-States, Global Series down here, and somewhere in there is um, Ortho. Where is the Ortho gone? Was that's that <laughs> right? Um, let's try it. That even auto rudder gets turned on. What the next plane or, or um. Auto rudder. I mean, you fly as an auto rudder. God dear. Call yourself a pilot with auto rudder.
Well, two cats is still flying. He's just taken the F-18 for a spin, bollocks. Come on, please get past this check. Google are now scrolling up through the long list of messages that have been peeling through me. Peeling, get it? <laughs> uh, oh, right, okay, yes. It resets all assistance options to easy. Great. Okay. We have progress. So what did I do then? I just installed the AFC. Or reinstall the AFC. things back in. I hit copy, copy. Put all my messages back in and see where we go from there. Mm. I think it was the AFC Bridge software. And I've noticed that sometimes I have to reinstall it after an update. But, um, so I just copied all my mesh back, just to see. I'll give it a whirl. Copy finished, so the restart.
That was a good picture. We took that when we, um, I think we did Bora Bora in the seminar. I think we did it in the seminar. You see, look, I, I clicked on that ages ago and it still doesn't come up. Just takes so long. Now, I don't need the screen capture because I have the game window there. Thirty-five percent. Ooh, it's getting there. This is where we say, well, no, actually, it is one of your meshes. It's when that circle just stops like that. There you go. Okay, okay. So he's one of my meshes then. <laughs> All right. Well, that's clear well it was one of these nine items so what do we think we take out take out the Iceland first Do we think it's going to be a mesh or do we think it's going to be one of the other things like the pushback? Let's take the pushback out. Let's take out the meta thing that I had installed. And really, did the wingman modern UI go in as well? That probably didn't work very well then. I forgot that was in there. Okay, I'm not going to take it out anymore. It's a troubleshooting session. I wonder who uh, Captain Bobasso says. I wonder who chose that particular plane for the splash screen. It's a little ugly. Well, it's a porter, and it does look ugly. They could have put the F-18 on there. Got fifty percent installed on the last pack. Well, yeah. Is that the last installation manager bit, or are you on the um, content manager? Now logs. Oh, just the color. Yeah, it's a bit gaudy, isn't it? Ready? Ready, no? So I took out the meta and the modern UI this time and the pushback. So let's see what happens this time. Possibly. 
the modern UI because it frigs with this menu. So I could probably try putting the other two, but I'll do it another day. Everything else is back in, which is good. So now we can go flying. <laughs> good question. I don't know. Actually, no, I'm on the content manager page, if that helps. OK, so uh, what you need to do is um, no, it wasn't Iceland because those all those meshes are now installed again. I think it was the modern UI or the in-game meta that I had or the pushback because they're the only three that I took out. So I'll let you know because I'll do some testing uh, tomorrow. But I want to get flying. I want to get flying. Gosh, what we, uh, 10 o'clock. gonna go and check out all the things first I mean I'll ask chat if, I mean those who are in chat um, potentially do you want to fly tonight still because we can always shift that to next week see what it's changed first before I go and do anything yeah I'm, I'm thinking that as well because it's gonna be at least another hour and a half to do the flight and it's a good route so I don't want to waste it so let's check out what is going on what settings have been changed what things I need to redo and I'll probably then call it a stream after that and then I'll go off and check and see which one of those add-ins is causing me the issue. I think I know which one it is. But we shall see. So I can zoom in and out, but I can't turn. Okay, so go back. Go to options. Control options. My mouse is on default. If your Mac is not, go to Mouse Profiles and reset to default. Uh, reset to default. Continue. Yeah, it had two missing. Where are they? Now, Dougal, did you work that one out yourself? That's amazing. Look at that. I mean, that is just flipping stupid. Just flipping bananas. That is, that is just flipping bananas. You shouldn't have to go and do that. 
Right, next thing, options. Graphics. What has it done? Uh, so that is still the same. That's still the same. It's saying DX11 custom. 240 train level of detail is what I was running, I think. 130. Everything is higher roll trail, which is what I was using anyway. This all looks the same to me. Ah, my assistant settings. Okay, so where's that? That's not in here, is it? That's in here. Oh, look at that. Including fuel, what's there? What's there? Where, 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 where? I said, I said we might be still be here. Booster Deb done. Eating cheese, cake, and Diet Coke for tea. MFS still updating life is good. <sighs> oh, Seamus, you don't know what you've got to do when you get going, I tell you, man. Okay, so that's all done. Um, do you know what? I mean, I, I don't know if I'm going to fly now. But I might download the Reno while I'm here. Did, did, did I just read that correctly? No, I don't want that. Go back. Does that really say £394.99? Did you see that? Look, £394.99? Are they having a laugh? <laughs> Who's going to pay £394.99? What? There's no way is that really 10 times 40 aircraft yeah I bet so what do we get we get all of these I suppose you do get a lot of aircraft don't you Sorry, that was a dog coming through, literally coming through. Okay, so let me uh, let me just do uh, one of those while I just do the uh, buying bit. Just a moment.
Okay, so uh, let's turn that back on. It's downloading. Oh, two cats is doing a race. He just glided with another airplane. <laughs> oh, and he missed the pylon. Now, I'm actually wondering, these um, these aircraft that you buy here, are these available to fly in the sim as a normal aircraft or not? Are these only available in the, um, in the Reno bit? Oh, look, there's lots of things you can do. Look. Pity there's no instructions. Interesting to see what goes on. Yes, all available to fly. Ooh, exciting! Because this actually, let's have a look at these uh, P fifty one D. That'd be quite nice to fly. Uh, pits, yes, 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 yes. yes. The L thirty nine C Sarans. Pits, pits. Trent Dunlop, I see. I see they're all pits, and say uh, the T six. Oh. I like the T6. I used to we used to fly that a lot, didn't we? Um, in Avio's stream, he liked the T6 as well. Oh, SMJ5. What's the difference between the SMJ5 and the T6? They look very similar. Cool. Look at some of the photos while we're downloading. See, one of the things that about air racing is is the fact that um, when you stream it all you see is a face of concentration <laughs> and uh, I remember from doing that when we did the um, when we did the uh, the Brisbane River run so that was quite fun then. Well, it has to do eight laps. That's cool. So the thing about the old river run, then, is, uh, or the, the Reno racing, is, you know, how do you how do you keep it fast? I mean, obviously, the tighter to the gates you are, probably the better. Without overstressing the aeroplane, of course. Are you call it ugly pilot face. Yeah, I think it's something you want to do with the cam off, actually. Right, it's taking a while to load in these pictures while it's doing the download. So you have the you have the race settings screen and what does it actually say you have to do there? Okay. And you have a leaderboard. Select your class. Alright. Select your plane. And then off you go. By oh, the looks of it. Oh, 
I'm not entirely sure how you end up joining the race. I mean, you just got other flyers that are flying at the same time and that's it. Oh, you just cut a pilot and... I'm not entirely sure how that all works. All right, so that's that done. What else have they got in here? Uh, wasn't there some other options they had apart from uh, DX11? Let's have a look. Uh, options, general graphics. Let's have a look down here. So we got a risk, everything. So you can change between DX11 and 12. I'll try that in a moment. Um, don't see any other options there. Camera options. They look pretty similar. Nothing on sound. Okay. Empire traffic off, show name place on. Use generic plane models and multiplayer off. I can't remember if that's the same or not. Data, that's all on. Change flight model stuff is not changed. Anything in here? Nope. Okay. Developers. Oh, in the developers mode, yes, there's um. Enable replay panel. TK update available. Not sure how that works. Okay. Might as well download it. So you click on that link, I've got a 500 internal server error. That's cool. Not. Let's see if it does it again. Oh, they went through this time. Oh, you can't see this, so I'm not showing my screen. Uh, turn that on, turn that on. Um, so here is the replay feature. Looks quite comprehensive, doesn't it? <laughs> we ask you to take into account the replay is experimental. Activate the develop mode, activate the repair tool, display the repair tool panel during a flight session. Start recording, start recording, save recording, load an old replay file. Yeah. 
Need an Xbox controller, which is good, because uh, that's fine. Add a camera to keyframe, add a weather keyframe, delete keyframe. No issues. No camera recording in VR mode for those who got VR. Okay, so the replay tool on a multiplayer flight session isn't stable for the moment. So that probably, if you're showing a replay, Junior flight that ain't gonna be very useful, is it? Really? Yeah, where did the update go? Okay, I did download it, I just need to install it. Okay. Alright. It's fine, we'll turn that off for now. I say, go back. Go back. How's our uh, download going? not saying it's downloaded anymore. Installed. Wow. Still downloading. Three and a half gigs to go. Logs, you're in the air. Your mum's just bought me a second cup of tea and some Rose's chocolates. We all want your mum. Okie dokie. So, um, right. Well, I mean, I'm downloading this at the moment. So, uh, I need another three and a half gigs to go. That's pretty quick-ish. So we'll keep going. I don't really want to fly while I'm downloading. I'd rather not do that. So what we're going to look at look at though, we're going to look at the aeroplanes, shall we? Uh, profile. My hangar. Change aircraft. Let's look at some of the aeroplanes. Ooh, look at them all. You can see that Yeah, I fly GA. That's <laughs> 62 propellers. <laughs> That's funny. So if you haven't got this yak, it was a freebie, I think. Was it a freebie? I don't know if it was a freebie now. But it's really good, but you know, inside is all in Russian, which is not great. So we switch inside.
it's uh Oh, it's a little better than it it was. I think it's had an upgrade, but you can see this here, you know, unless you understand what this means. It's quite odd. But it makes a great sound. I like the clock, look. Tick, tick, tick. So go back. Why hang it? And we'll change a clock. What else we got in here? Oh, the velocity. So look at that. I mean, this could be fun to fly, I think. I wonder how long you can last on the batteries, you know? It looks pretty cool. So it's just a, like a helicopter gone wrong, really, isn't it? Inside. It's tidy. I mean, not a lot of room for passengers, is it? It's just, uh, just the one then, sir? <laughs> And there's no there's no rear seat is there no so it's literally i can take you to your destination sir but it's not your family uh, change aircraft what else we got what else we got um... <laughs> dun, 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 dun. So these must be the Microsoft Pilates PC6 because I think the other one comes up with Milvis, yeah. So should we have a look at one of these and see what it looks like? Oh, oh this one's got floats. Oh sorry, skis, not floats. So it's a bit jerky because the download's still going. That's why I didn't want to fly like it. Hello. Okay. Oh, there it looks great. It looks all right. Looks weird with skis, doesn't it? Change aircraft. What else we got? Nothing new there, nothing new now. Nothing new there. Fourteen BAs. It's funny how you put those in props. Here's the F-18. Let's have a look at this little beastie. I was reading the Velocity is sort of test bed while they're working on helicopters as a sort of proof of concept. It has very limited range. Um, okay, I have mouse, I have everything working apart from my sim, which has now decided not to play ball. But I think it's because it's installing a file. And we run out of music. 
Slow me down. Just a few more. Carry on. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so, um, hello, Microsoft Flight Sim. Are you going to actually come back to me? It's very busy at the moment. CPUs at 100%. So it's doing things. It's also downloading things at the same time. saying it's not crashed yet but I can't click, click my mouse on the screen so I'm sort of a bit stuck uh, did you put your add-ons into another folder then put back I did. But I had issue with the AFC bridge software from Honeycomb. So I had to reinstall the AFC bridge software. That might have been an issue. And then the other one was I had the modern UI mod, which also caused me issues and I uninstalled that. But all my Orbex meshes are back in. As I believe I put them all back in. Yes. The little nameplate mod seems to work okay. Well, yeah, you should say that because I think that my UI mod impacted the nameplate mod because I think the last two streams the nameplates wouldn't turn on and off for me with the uh, F11 F12 but at the moment my simile tour is still doing stuff but it's non-responsive to my mouse at the moment And as long as it's showing it's doing stuff, I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to leave it because I think it is installing files. And I don't really want to interrupt it. consuming the most CPU is Microsoft Flight Sim.
Um, I'm thinking I might want to... I'm in two minds whether to leave it or force a stop on it and restart it. Oh, it heard me. Look at that. It came back to the host. <laughs> How funny is that? All down there's a completed look. It was busy doing something. It just took over my machine. Fantastic. All right, so let's have a look at this. Ooh, look at this. Nicely, nicely airplane. My mouse up and down is working in the reverse way that I would want it to. So my up, I think. So something seems a bit weird about the mouse, but just in the way I like it working. That looks nice aeroplane, doesn't it? Okay. Um, switch camera inside. Yep. 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 Looks like a, looks like a jet. <laughs> Go back. Uh, what else we got? Change aircraft. Um, ba -ba 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 so we got all the um, Reno ones in here now. All the different flavors of the pits. There's my helos. We've got these Aero Vodo Choddies. Let's have a look at one of those, shall we? Red Thunder sounds like a great name. Ooh, that looks like it does some damage, doesn't that? Ooh, yes. Actually, I think I want my mouse working the other way. I don't know. It's, it seems backwards to me, the way it's working. It does look like a mean machine, doesn't it? Great detail on this. They're also great models, don't they? A little number plate. <laughs> Switch camera. Inside. Oh, very, uh, very sparse, I would say. That's probably a cockpit I could get used to because there's not a lot of buttons in it. <laughs> I don't know. Is it a widow maker? It still looks nice though. What else we got? Lots of these. And that's it, I think. Turbo props. Should we take their Pilatus out? Just have a little blast or something. Go back. Go back. Uh, welcome. Just see if we can actually get flying in this thing. Uh, <laughs> Should we go to the boulder? Boulder. Oh. Uh, hello? Are you going to actually let me type on the keyboard? I have no keyboard.
So, simulator has gone into one of those, I'm gonna sit here and I'll do nothing for a little while. Okay, well that's fun. <laughs> I did nothing, I wanted to type in here. Everything else is working. Keyboard's working elsewhere, but it wouldn't let me type in here. So I unplugged my keyboard and plugged it back in and it died. Well, it hasn't died. It's, and that's the thing, it's not dead. It's doing something. It's like got 30% of my CPU. So it's actually doing something. Do you remember in stream the other day? There we go, it's come back now, right. Search, can I type? Yeah, see? How weird is that? Uh, Boulder Muni, that'll do. Uh, let's go for live. I'm in the porter. Boulder Muni. Uh, now we'll start on the parking ramp, I think. Thank you very much, Jilly. Just have a look at see what the weather's like. Because they made some tweaks, did they not, to the weather? So if you want to join me, Boulder Muni. And I'm in the porter. Maybe just do a couple of circuits and then I will call it a night. Probably raid a two cats channel afterwards. Oh, dogs come through again. Have a good shake, Max. Ready to fly. Okay, so we have a, a three controller. Who are this? I don't want this. What, 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 what? What? Hey, what's, what, 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 what's going on? Oh, go away. Why have we got all these messages coming out? I thought we turned the assistant stuff off. Oh. Let's reset them. either go on the checklist okay so I've got a few things that are turned already let's just check where are with throttles Propellers is propellers. And the, that's the other way around. So I think I do have a PC6 option in my set. Logs, are you still um, are you still here?
Yes, everybody seems to be losing their configs, Seamus. config so I will go with single TPM that's better that's better the condition doesn't work because it hasn't really got one of those uh, so look idle Props forward. Let's start an engine. We have a good start. Look at that. quiet it's probably not outside oh yeah I've got skis <laughs> fantastic um, right uh, parking brake is somewhere around here These little levers that's going to be hmm, don't know what that's going to be we'll do okay so it's it's that thing there it's the parking brake oh it's a bit stuttery let's have a look at the uh frame rate here so it tells me it's like low yeah look at that Uh, is that the aeroplane or is that it just doesn't Blech. okay Okay, so I don't get any increase in RPM with my throttle. What do you need then? Then it's fuel selector, I think. Both. 
So I have a running engine with no power. Nav lights on, is connected. Beacon light is not on, but that's probably on a switch now, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so if I throttle up, why do I have no throttle? Any ideas, anybody in chat? Feel there's something I haven't done. I'm going to be forced to have to go to the gym this Sunday. Yes. Fuel shuttle failed. me to it. Oh, behind or anything like silly like that. I'm sure it's this down here. Auxiliary fuel pump. So the only thing I did was switch this off. Okay, whatever it is, it's not let me start it now. Uh, 
You just lost it. Okay, did you say I meant to make me a different brain to us? I'm working. Okay. Um, why is this not starting? Oh, look, I have no battery. I bet my avionics was not on. Okay. Well, we know what that means, don't we? We need to do one of those and do a restart. Oh, well, this is turning out to be a lovely evening. Okay, so start. Sounds like it started, but it's not because I got no throttle. Crazy man. Um, there's something I haven't done, and what is it?
เล่นเกมอะไรมาไม่ต้องเกี่ยวกับโอเคทุกคนขอบคุณทุกคนที่มาร่วมสนุกไม่ได้เป็นการเล่นที่น่าสนใจในโลกแต่นี่คือคุณรู้ไหมว่ามันจะใช้เวลานานแค่นี้ขอบคุณทุกคนขอบคุณ so we're trying T6 oh go away right um ba -ba 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 -bum. elevator trim I have landing gear uh, I have a throttle RPM and I have a mixture. I think. So RPM mixture. see nice thing about this is that you can't see outside but you can do one of these I don't like all these things on the screen you have to change that in a second pop forward I think we got logs flying around here somewhere. Yeah, PC six. He had more success of getting it started than I did. My frame rate's still knackered. That's the technical term for not very high. <laughs> we are in the air. Yes. Let's see if we can get this thing to do.
Okay, so. I need to get rid of all these dials. Gosh, who wants those on the screen? There he is in the PC6. Head out for the mountains. I'm just going to see if I can change my display so I can get rid of those horrible things. Now, where are they? They are in. Uh, yeah, hold, it's not in there, is it? Um, it is, is in here. But that turned all off. Anybody remember where, um, it's in the assistance options, but these are all off. AC voices off. AI piloting curse mode. What's that? That's one. Chase cam. Head up display. Off. Is that it? I suppose actually that is what brings up your logbook is not ah, there we go fantastic oh I, my mouse is backwards for how i i want it to use <laughs> sorry can i go back into my mouse options i don't know what why 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 do you need to change it why Uh, must be camera. Uh, so I want this the other way around, don't I? So up, I want down, and down, I want up. Someone's scanning. I want it. Why? Is that what it was before? Yeah. So I want it the other way around. <laughs> you don't want to clear current. So I want to do it. Up. That'll be Max. Shh. Why? I want this to be plus. Turn it on. That's what we're in. That 
was better, I think. Is that the way I want it? I think my X on left and right still need to be the other way around. So if I want to look that way, yes, it is the wrong way around. And they still got the thing where you come out and you play with something and all of a sudden your throttle gets cut for some bizarre reason. So let's just do that. Bear with me, I'm just letting the dog out. Dog's gone. So X minus wants to be X plus wants to be X minus that way. And X minus clear wants to be X plus. I don't think. Apply. Go back. So now I can do that. Is that right? Yes. It's more like it. Let's see if I can land this thing. On the airport again would be a useful start. It is over there, I think. explain if I'm this bad on updates do you know um I'm not convinced it was to be honest it certainly didn't figure around with your options and your settings and stuff like that I can't ever recall that being the case We're a tad fast. Wasn't too bad for the crosswind that we've got. <laughs> Sounds good, this aeroplane. Okay, let's see. Taxis. Okay, 
cut across the grass. Does sound meaty. Sounds good. Okay, we've got to try it before I finish. And my best is you're right, more or less. Plane will break that on need updating, yeah. Let's just try it. We've got to try it, haven't we? Where is it then? Where it is. Go for default. Close. Uh, Boulder, we'll go for there. We'll start on the wrong way, not mess around this time. See what happens. Thank God it's Friday tomorrow. have to load my F14 controls do come in Max okay um, so this could be this could be, it could be a little interesting I think <laughs> um, right um, where's my throttle it's over there yeah a chance there's two isn't there okay Could be this. But I don't know which ones are going to require moving. Okay. Marvellous. Just check that's all moving there. That's good. Oh, those are moving there. That's good. Okay, let's give it some beans. I've got a parking brake on.
interesting nozzle effect there. This is where you've got to know your aeroplane. So I'm assuming there is a control here for um, afterburners, but I can't see it. Is it one of these little buttons? Thanks Seamus for coming along, good to see you, glad you got your grocery shopping done. There's some things going on in the cockpit here which I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't fly these sort of aeroplanes but I just thought I'd give it a whirl. the afterburner then. Is it one of these buttons like that one or something? Oh full thrust one. Whoops, oops, 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 oops. <laughs> survived. Hey Bombasso, where's the afterburner? I have no afterburner. It's not like the on the the other one. You could just press some knobs and it will work. Anyway, let's see if we can land it. There's the airport one. There's an airport, that'll do.
See, I see a speed brake button up here, indication, but I don't see a speed brake button. Oh, there you go. There's my sim thinking, oh, it come back very quickly then that time. Here's the gear coming down. bit of speed there. That's quite a lot of speed there. To that end, we are going to do a thanks very much. Lots of things to play with and do. Um, going to have a look at Reno Racing as well. But for tonight, uh, I think we're done. So, um, chat, thank you very much for joining. Who we got in chat? Oh, we've got loads of people in chat. We didn't say anything. <laughs> so uh, let me see if we've got anybody. Oh, we can go and raid two cats. So um, let's go and set that up. Um, and uh, we'll raid um, him. He's he's doing some Reno racing. So um, thanks very much. Sorry, it was a bit of a, a messy stream with um, downloads and stuff. But uh, wow, that took a long while to do. And uh, we shall see you next time on Saturday at some point. So bye for now. Thanks. <laughs>